A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with a quick nightly update. I am right off of the heels of the ACBA podcast this evening. We just wrapped up episode 118 or 119. It was a quick show, maybe just under two hours. So check that out when you have a chance, maybe while you're at work tomorrow or what have you. But I wanted to get something else up on the channel real quick. Um, I actually had started to shoot something for Simple Sunday featuring Darth Vader being that we just learned of the death of uh, David Prowse this morning who played Darth Vader in the original trilogy. Even though we know James Earl Jones voiced Darth Vader, the guy under the helmet in the suit was uh, David Prowse. But yeah, I did end up actually going out yesterday. I probably still will shoot something for Darth Vader for sure, a tribute of some sort. But I did go out yesterday and in my travels, I uh, happened upon this little guy here. This is actually a Star Wars uh, Mattel little miniature figure this is actually Hot Wheels and I have quite a few of these ships from Star Wars from Hot Wheels that I've shot in various scenes and what have you but I saw this and I said you know what this would be great on that uh on my diorama that I have from uh from Ron from Lola Studio so it's basically just this little tiny miniature static figure of Darth Maul on his uh speeder smack dab in the middle of the uh diorama I used a couple of the uh wave effects from uh Tamashi to simulate him kicking up some of the smoke and just to hide the base even though I do have a, a larger uh, modular rock here on the front too and you know just position some of the modular pieces that I have to you know go ahead and uh, lay out the landscape here and this is something very simple that anybody could do it's really cool to shoot stuff in uh, 112 scale but I really have a lot of fun shooting stuff that is smaller scale and using it on the larger diorama and really presenting it like it's uh, much larger Larger than it actually is you know I really get a kick out of that type of displaying uh, MSD displaying this is not really MSD although I did think about doing a larger shot with the uh, SHF Darth Maul and, and doing some sort of like movie poster type of thing maybe I'll save that for another time but yeah just a, a white poster paper uh, a bunch of lights and I'm shooting with the ISO up to 800 and I'm shooting in uh, landscape mode kind of overcast look but still sunny and I'm I'm liking this you know i shot a couple variants with some different colored backdrops but uh, i think this is the best one yeah something quick and easy for simple sunday again something that you can easily do yourself it takes a little determination some patience and uh the proper framing you know again like i always say you want to frame up everything through the viewer i've tilted the camera just a bit too to kind of line up with the horizon i guess and yeah that's that so this week i'm gonna have quite a few things that i want to review including the stilt man build a figure wave from Marvel Legends. I want to take some shots of Nosferatu. I talked about this stuff on, on the uh, podcast an hour or so ago. So stay tuned for that stuff from me this week. And thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the bell down there. And until next time, peace. They see me in the streets, they be like, yo, he nice, but that's on the low though. Be the cats with no dough, try to play me at my show. I pull out four foes and go up in their clothes.